I'm Aline Saeed in Doha. Here are your top stories on Al Jazeera. Tunisia and Libya's foreign ministers have discussed 1,200 black African migrants left stranded on their borders by Tunisian police. All were rounded up in Tunisia and bussed to the border. The Libyan border guards are refusing to let them in. Human Rights Watch accuses Tunisia of violating international law. The EU representative in the West Bank and Gaza has told Al Jazeera that Israel's assault on Janine this week that killed 12 Palestinians was dispro disproportionate and a breach of international law. An international delegation is assessing the damage caused to homes and infrastructure. It's a very dramatic military invasion we have seen uh, between the 3rd and the 5th of July. Um, an invasion which was not an attempt to restore law and order. It was actually an attempt to massively destroy areas suspected of harboring criminal elements by full disregard of the proportionality of the military action in relation to the objective. The governor of Ukraine's Donetsk region says at least eight people have been killed in a Russian rocket attack. It was targeting the city of Liman. Several more people were reportedly injured in the bombardment. The U.S. has defended plans to supply cluster bombs to Ukraine. Both the U.N. Secretary General and rights groups oppose the sending of the controversial weapons. They are banned by more than 120 countries, but not the U.S. The Americans say they couldn't leave Ukrainian troops defenseless and is aware of the risks of civilian casualties. Monsoon rains across Pakistan have triggered floods and landslides which have destroyed homes. At least 56 people have been killed and dozens injured in the past two weeks. Most of the fatalities are in Punjab. The Dutch Prime Minister, Mark Rutte, has handed in his resignation to King Willem Alexander. The move comes after his coalition government failed to agree on a new migration package. Rutte has served almost 13 years as head of government.